Today I'm going to make homemade paneer cheese with raw milk and wild foraged rams. Herbs and spices are completely optional with paneer, so you can still follow along if you want to leave it plain. Wild ramps are the true harbingers of spring in the forests, but they are only around for a month or so before disappearing. And although the leaves disappear, the underground bulb lives for many years. A single seed takes a year to germinate, and then the plant takes five to seven years to reach maturity. In some areas, these native wild plants are threatened, so harvest them sustainably. Only take one or two leaves per plant and leave the bulbs alone below the surface. Since paneer is one of the few cheeses that can be frozen, you can enjoy your ramps throughout the year. This is four liters of fresh, raw, whole Guernsey milk direct from the farmer. If you don't have access to unpasteurized milk, you can use any kind for paneer cheese, as long as it's not UHT or ultra high temperature pasteurized. Gather all of your ingredients first. Paneer is an acid cheese and it doesn't require rennet to form the curd. You can use half a cup of any vinegar you like, one cup of fresh lemon juice or one pint of yogurt or kefir. I'm using apple cider vinegar. Place your milk over medium high heat and use this time to chop up your wild ramps or any other herbs as it slowly comes to a boil. Stir your milk to prevent scorching. As soon as you see the milk starting to come up with larger bubbles, remove it immediately from the heat. Slowly add your acid and very gently stir the milk only a few times. I like to leave it now for five to 10 minutes, no more. So set a timer, get a breath of fresh air, water your seedlings. When you get back to your milk, you'll find that it has separated into curds and whey. I have a very simple setup here of a metal colander suspended over a bowl. Using a slotted spoon, carefully strain the curds from the liquid. Once you've strained out as much as possible, use a fine mesh weave colander to remove the last little bits. Do not throw out your way. It's a probiotic beverage that can be drank on its own or added to smoothies, but I'm going to show you how to transform this way into even more types of cheese in another video. Once the curds are separated, I'm going to mix in the ramps and one tablespoon of fine sea salt. You can use any type of salt, as long as it's not iodized. You can also use any other herbs or spices that you like, or leave it plain. The curd can even be eaten plain, just like this. But to make it into paneer, I'm going to press it. Once pressed, it can be fried, grilled, or even smoked without melting. I'm using this heavy jar of whey as a makeshift cheese press. 
You really don't need any special ingredients or equipment for paneer cheese. Just use what you have in your own kitchen. Once the curd is weighed down, it will become paneer when it comes to room temperature. Check back on it in a couple of hours or just place it in the fridge overnight for whenever you're ready. Gently remove your paneer from the mold and cut it into smaller pieces with a sharp knife. My favorite way to eat paneer is fried in lots of butter. This is homemade European style raw cultured butter. Gently fry the paneer a couple of minutes per side over medium high heat. And that's it. This is a very easy cheese for a beginner and anyone can make it. If you've made plain fried paneer instead of herbed or spiced, try drizzling some honey over it. 